Hi, I am Mark Leach, the developer of the Chemogenesis Analysis and the author of the Chemogenesis webbook. Chemogenesis tells the story of chemical structure and reactivity emerging from the periodic table of the elements. In this video, we're going to give an accelerated version of this story in 700 seconds, about 12 minutes. The story is slightly involved, and so feel free to stop the video at any time, particularly towards the end, where the screens contain quite a lot of information. OK, here we go. We start with a uh, description of chemistry as a tree. We have the roots of chemical science and history of science that lead into the periodic table. Chemical structure and reactivity very much grow out of the periodic table. And this is described by the chemogenesis analysis. And from here we go to the traditional organic and inorganic reaction chemistry. Our story starts with the periodic table, which for now we're going to reduce to the main group elements. In their standard state, these elements present as metals, molecular materials and network covalent materials. We need to normalise these elements in some way. A number of ways of doing this. One is to combine our main group elements with a common bonding partner. There are several possibilities, lithium, oxygen, fluorine, but by far the best is hydrogen. This gives the main group elemental hydrides. The main group elemental hydrides represent some very common materials, such as H2O water, CH4 methane, hydrogen, the diatomic molecule, ammonia, hydrogen chloride, sodium hydride, aluminium hydride, for example. The main group elemental hydrides also present as Lewis acids, where Lewis acids are electron pair acceptors, or more modern parlance, react by their lowest unoccupied molecular orbital, or LUMO. We will colour Lewis acids red. The main group elemental hydrides also present as Lewis bases. Lewis bases are electron pair donors. Lewis bases react via their highest occupied molecular orbital or HOMO, and in our analysis, Lewis bases are coloured blue. So a Lewis acid plus Lewis base gives a Lewis acid base complex, or electron pair acceptor plus an electron pair donor presents as a Lewis acid base complex. For example, ammonia reacts with boron trifluoride to give the ammonia boron trifluoride adduct. We can also think about this in terms of a LUMO plus HOMO interaction to give the bonding molecular orbital. We can conduct some hydrogen probe experiments on the main group elemental hydrides. Firstly, we can add a proton to give the conjugate acids. But notice the metals actually react to give the cations. We can remove a proton to give the conjugate bases. We can add a hydride ion. We can remove a hydride ion. And we can remove a hydrogen radical. This gives a range of interesting chemical entities. Stripping away the lines on the diagram shows these sets of species which present as Lewis acids, Lewis bases, Lewis acid base complexes, radicals and metals which are reducing agents. We can now slice and dice the chemical species from the five hydrogen probe experiments and recognise five general types of reaction chemistry within the Lewis theory of counting electrons. We have Lewis acids and Lewis bases, electron pair acceptors, electron pair donors, or radicals, species that react via single electrons, photochemistry, where electrons are promoted from ground states to higher states and then fall back, diradicals, uh, interesting set of species we're not going to be dealing with very much here, and also redox chemistry, which involves the transfer of electrons from one species to another. We are going to be concentrating on Lewis acid base chemistry. So Lewis acids and Lewis bases. 
we can see the species from the five hydrogen probe experiments, and we can sort these into Lewis acids and Lewis bases. We find that these species exist in congeneric arrays, where congeneric means of the same family. We find we have congeneric planars, congeneric series, and congeneric dots. These are entities which do not have any congeneric cousins. Let's have a look at a congeneric series. Here we have the methyl anion up to the fluoride ion, and we find that we have regular structure and reactivity trends across this series. The methyl anion is an exceedingly strong Bronsted base, and the fluoride ion is a very weak Bronsted base. We have congeneric arrays. These are two-dimensional arrays of species. We find regular trends in reactivity across the array, up and down the array, and diagonally. Top left is a strong Bronsted base. The bottom right is a weak Bronsted base. Top right is a hard Lewis base within the Pearson analysis. And bottom left is a soft Lewis base. We also have congeneric array interaction algebra, and this follows the usual rules of matrix algebra. For example, a one times one matrix times a one times one matrix gives a one time one matrix or here we have a dot times a dot gives a dot h plus plus h minus gives h2 a congeneric series times a congeneric series gives rise to a congeneric planar and a congeneric series times a congeneric planar gives rise to a congeneric volume and we have regular structure and reactivity trends over the volume. This particular volume, lithium iodide, is the weakest base, which goes to lithium fluoride, a weak base, methyl lithium, a very strong base, and predicted the strongest base of all, methyl cesium. The Lewis acid base interaction matrix. So we have our Lewis acids and Lewis bases from before. Let's look at the Lewis bases first. So we have a number of types of Lewis base. We're now going to add to this an additional type, electron-rich pi systems. So these can be sorted by their frontier molecular orbital geometry into four types. The S-homo Lewis bases, hydride iron and hydrogen H2 complex anion Lewis bases, such as the tetrafluoroborate ion, lobe homo Lewis bases. These are the traditional lone pair of electron donating species, such as hydroxide iron and water, and the pi homo species. These are species that interact and react via their electron-rich pi system. Now the Lewis acids, these can be collected by type. We're going to add two additional types, the electron poor pi systems and heavy metals and their ions. So this gives us six general types of Lewis acid represented by their frontier molecular orbitals. We have the proton H+, a point-like positive charge with an empty 1s orbital. S-lumo Lewis acids, onium iron Lewis acids, lobe lumo Lewis acids, these are the Lewis acids often seen in organic chemistry, pi lumo Lewis acids, these are Lewis acids that interact via their electron poor pi systems, and heavy metals which can either be the heavy metal cation or the bulk metal. So we have six types of Lewis acid and four types of Lewis base, and these interact to give 24 types of Lewis acid base interaction chemistry. Let's see how this works. So let's take the S-lumo Lewis acids reacting with lobe-homo Lewis bases. This gives type 7 complexes. So what type of species are we looking at? S-lumo Lewis acids include things like the lithium ion, the sodium ion, and the potassium ion. Lobe Homo Lewis bases include things like the hydroxide ion, the nitranion, and the methyl anion. And so these interact to give complexes such as potassium hydroxide, sodamide, and methyl lithium, and important chemicals which are used as strong bases. 
some more examples. The proton H+, the hydride ion interact to give hydrogen H2. The sodium ion interacts with the hydride ion to give sodium hydride, an important chemistry which tends to be used as a proton extracting base in organic chemistry and a nucleophile in inorganic chemistry. Heavy metal ions, including transition metal ions, interact with electron-rich pi-homo Lewis bases to give all sorts of interesting organometallic compounds, such as the allyl palladium chloride dimer. Electron-rich pi-homo Lewis bases interact with electron-poor pi-lumo Lewis acids in cycloaddition reactions, such as Diels-Alder. On this diagram, we can see the various types of frontier molecular orbital interaction. There are many interaction chemistries. Some more interaction chemistries stop the video to examine in more detail. We can look at different types of reactivity and bond type, and we can analyze Lewis acids and Lewis bases in a post-Pearson HSAB analysis. Congeneric dots, congeneric series, congeneric planars, and congeneric volumes can also be seen across the Lewis acid base interaction matrix. And we have various different types of reaction chemistry. We can see Bronsted acid chemistry, which is proton donor, proton acceptor chemistry. When Lewis acids react with hydrogen and hydride ion, this tends to be classed as reduction. Main group chemistry, organic chemistry, traditional transition metal chemistry, and various types of organometallic chemistry. Chemogenesis analysis also looks at reaction mechanisms. We ask the question, what is the simplest reaction mechanism? Y reacts with Rx to give Yr plus X. Y substitutes X at R. R transfers from X to Y. Y abstracts R from X. X is displaced by Y at R. So this simple reaction can be considered as substitution, transfer, abstraction, or displacement, or STAD. So we identify STAD as being the simplest reaction mechanism. We can then build up more complex mechanisms such as complexation, fragmentation, substitution, insertion, pericyclic processes, metathesis, addition, elimination, rearrangement, and name reactions in terms of STAD steps. This gives rise to a mechanism mini matrix, substitution, addition, elimination against nucleophilic, electrophilic and radical chemistries. This can be expanded into a larger mechanism matrix and we ask the question, is the data perfect? It transpires that it is not and this is where we go to the chemical thesaurus reaction chemistry database, the ideal place for storing information about chemical energy entities and their interactions and reactions. Go to the Chemogenesis web book where you'll find far more information and detail about the stories told in this video and you'll also find other videos. Also go to the Chemical Thesaurus Reaction Chemistry database where you can click through many many reactions. All links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.